Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Uh, last time we beat the Kirkchester Stadium. Uh, it's a little harder than I expected. Uh, they Dynamaxed their Lapras and immediately took out uh, my Fire type that was also Dynamaxed, so it didn't quite work the way I was hoping. Uh, but we got through it, and now we're ready to uh, continue with the game. It says have a look around Kirkchester and see what it has to offer. I kind of did that before going to the stadium, but I assume there'll be something new now. So we'll head out and have a look around. <gasps> that battle was brilliant! That gym leader was tough, but you had no trouble. Hey Sonia, Kurt just has some really great restaurants. I got some things I want to talk to you about, so let's head to a restaurant to celebrate your win. Are you asking me out? <laughs> the name of the restaurant is Bob's Your Uncle. Yeah, I know the restaurant, I was there before. Cycling. Uh, it's this one here, right? I guess that's Bob in the picture. Got that gym badge, Daniel? Nice one. Oh hey, there you are! I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day in the Sword and Shield Pokémon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on! <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> no way, what's this? The heroes look sad, and where are the sword and shield? What was the meaning of this picture? Oh, I see. Those are little tombstones, aren't they? The sword and shield Pokemon. They dead. They real dead. Hmm, perhaps when their duty was completed, they went into some kind of sleep? Based on the statues we saw back in Stolen Side, the sword and the shield were actually two Pokémon, right? That's right, that's my take on it at least. Remember the Pokémon we met that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the sword or the shield Pokémon? You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Danielle? Exactly! The mad Pokemon we run into in the fog. Don't you think that could have been it? Oh, that's right. You lot have been in the slumbering wield. I only started on this journey because my grand told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what are you going to eat? Let's get our orders in. She's so adorable. <laughs> Alright, the next thing to do now that we're done eating is to have a look around Kirchester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Okay. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays only Pokémon really use the hero's bath though. Hmm, who exactly were the heroes that bathed here? I think we'll have to look into that. You two met a mysterious Pokémon back in the slumbering wield. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. What, like some hero webbing around a sword and shield? Pull the other one. Though, I guess I'd fancy a sword if I had to take my pick. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we show her, Danielle? Think we can pull off a real heroic battle? Absolutely. Soon you treated us to a great meal. After that curry, I feel like I've got the energy to wrestle a beware. I don't entirely understand your reasoning, but I might as well just see what you can do. I'll help you Pokemon for you, Danielle, so give it your best. I actually got healed by doing the boss, the uh, gym battle earlier, so... Time for the exhibition match, starring the future champion. Chances are his skills are pretty bad. Your chance for Pokemon Trainer Hop probably hasn't improved his type lineup at all. Double. Oh, adorable. I'm counting on you, partner. It's hailing. It sure is. Uh, I guess I'll just use liquidation. 
Yeah, I figured. Takedown? Ooh, that was quite strong. Oh, it has recoil damage, that's right. I forgot about that. Oh, hyper potions? Come on. The best I have is regular potions. This is embarrassing. There we go. I wonder how many potions Hop has. It's gonna be really obnoxious. Pinkurchin. Like a like a pinkushin? Kinda. This music kinda reminds me of the battle music in Superstar Saga. So it sounds sorta of similar, which is kinda cute. Uh, Curse cuts its health in half, right? So it's gonna kill itself immediately? No, because it's not a ghost type. Forgot about that bit. Cinderace. Both fire types, but I'm probably higher level. Well, just. Oh, wait, you can't stack it? Okay, I was hoping to make it super effective, but it doesn't look like it does that. Okay. Taste of our true power, wow. Flames are burning bright. I really get why they got to go first, but alright. Uh... Yeah, I probably won't send here back out. Now that's a proper move. Bye, Cinderace. Bada bam. Snorlax? Mm, I can keep current Pokemon. Yep, that's a Snorlax, alright. Yes. 
Okay. That's probably going to take me out. Yeah, I thought so. You got me cornered? Not even close. It'd be the greatest if I steal this win back. Corviknight? If you say so. Unnerve? Too nervous to eat berries. Okay, I don't have any berries, so I'm probably fine with that. Drill pack? Not very effective. Not a big fan of hail. <laughs> it's very annoying. Makes every turn take a little bit longer and doesn't really do much damage. Oh, that was a crit. That's why it did so much damage. I see. Yeah, this game's not very hard. <laughs> I still can't even beat you, my true rival. But I think I'm starting to see the light. Got some money for winning. Thanks, you two have a right proper battle. The rate you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look in th into things in the slumbering wield. I'm gonna keep challenging that gym. Then once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to take on Spikemuth next. Seems like he finally shook off that gloom. Leon would worry if Hop wasn't feeling alright. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? See ya! She's so cute. Okay, I guess I need to go to Spikemuth? Yeah. So, uh, let's just drop by the Pokemon Center, which is just over here. Thank you. Okay, now we're gonna have a Route 9. I wonder if I can, like, swim in this water. Meeting a train and going to mean battle. What a simple concept. Fisher Harriet. Sent out Barrascuda. Yeah, it's a Barracuda. Right, I guess. It's hailing. Oh no. It's gonna be hailing everywhere. It's gonna be real annoying. Come on, you can't use dive. You're not in water. <sighs> I was hoping Sucker Punch would hit because they are preparing an attack, but it didn't work that way. Just quite annoying. Goodbye, Barrascuta. I'm not gonna love the hail. Lantern, I think that's like a fi another fish? Yeah, oh yeah, it's this one. Oh, I've seen that before. That's adorable. Uh, I don't know what they're weak to though. Darkness maybe, because it's a light fish? No. Oh no, Confuse Ray. Uh, I don't like being confused. I also don't like being hailed on. Ok, 
Okay, not not super effective, but that was an alright move. Oh. Oh. That's not good. I guess it's like an electric fish? Okay. Yes, I got experience points. Bada -bada. The stronger one always wins. How simple. Get some money for winning. I get the impression I can cross this water, but not yet. Like, I don't know if you learn surf in this game. Probably not, because you don't learn fly or cut. Unless that's later, but it probably isn't at this point. But maybe you learn something for crossing water? I don't know. Because it looks like, you know, the, the ground slopes down all the way to the water, which suggests you can enter the water somehow. Although I do not know how. Okay, yeah, let's head back to Pokemon Center, because that fight went worse than I expected. There we go. Actually, while I'm here, I should probably go buy some items, like, uh, potions and stuff. Can I afford Hyper Potions? It says I have a bunch of different kinds of potions, but I didn't see them in my supplies earlier. Hmm, confusing. Well, let's get a few more potions. And some more Super Potions. And some more Hyper Potions. There we go, that should do the trick. Uh, maybe some more Ultra Rolls as well. Thank you. So yeah, they're not selling uh, PP restoration items like ethers and stuff. I'm not sure where you get those. I think there's some way to get across this water, but I don't think I can do it yet. So I can definitely see like Pokemon over the water, which suggests I should be able to go get them, but. I don't know how. Um, what the heck is that thing? Found a max potion. Hello. What are you? Oh, you look so happy. Jellicent. I don't know what type you are, so I'm gonna try to not kill you, but we'll see how we go. By the way, it's hailing. <sighs> Cursed body. Snapshot was disabled. I want it knows recover. Hmm. We'll see how this goes. Will the cursed body disabled hail too? Because that would be great. Uh, I didn't. Oh well, I guess that was a different move because the move I was just used got disabled. Do I have to switch moves every turn? How does it work? Or is it just the first one you use gets disabled? Ooh, nasty. Okay, I think that should be a decent amount. Fingers crossed. Yes. Okay, unless the hail defeats it, which is entirely possible. God damn it. Hail is so obnoxious. Whose idea was this? <sighs> Do I have a polypro already? I don't know. Let's have a look. Hello, Plipper. Pelipper? Probably Pelipper, yeah. It's hailing. Nope, I don't have a Pelipper.
Yeah. Okay, I got something. Ah. <sighs> Level 50, there we go. Pelipper's Jada. Skimming the water's surface, it dips its large bill in the sea, scoops up food and water, and carries it. So it's a pelican. Which is just like a real pelican. <laughs> yeah, Phyllis, that works. From Animal Crossing. How are my stats doing? Yeah, I should probably heal again. I'm taking a lot of damage very quickly. I'm not quite over leveled enough for this area yet. I don't really like the boost system these bicycles have, it doesn't seem to work very well. <sighs> I vastly prefer the way the bikes worked in Gen 3, where you had the Mark bike and the Acro bike, and you could pick, like, depending on what you wanted to be able to do with your bike, and swap them back and forth. I thought that was really cool. And you'd have the bike that's real, real quick, or you could have the bike that could do neat tricks. And, like, there were areas you could only access if you had the Mark bike to ride up the slippery slopes, and there were areas you could only access with the Acro bike to do the little bunny hops. I thought that was cool. Found three full heals. Hello. My Pokemon all pumped up from dancing with me. Are you ready for us? Sure. Oh, you got cute, cute freckles. Hey, Zoe. That Darumaka? Oh, it's this guy. I remember this guy. Do I remember this guy, or is it like a devolution of a guy that I've already seen? It reminds me of someone, something that the boss, the um, gym battle had, but I don't know if I've actually seen this particular one, because it wasn't showing the types, type advantages. Um, I really don't like the hail. Bellossom, I've heard of that. That's Bellossom, there you go. Uh, it's grass type, but let's try liquidation instead and see how we do. It'll be not too, not very effective, but it might do a decent job anyway. Mm, it was all right. Moonblast, huh? That's fairy type, I think. Yeah, you should probably use a grass type move because I'm I'm a I'm a water type. Wow, you and your Pokemon make a combo that throws out moves like an elegant dance. Thanks. I'm glad you, imp you were impressed by my efforts. Uh, Route 9, Kerchester Bay. Oh, hello. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spikemouth, and that means we can't let you go on to Route 9. The team yells you to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought. We also get to stop people from heading out there over the water. Bye bite. <laughs> yes, I understand. All I'm saying is I can make it so that road and bikes can ride on, ride on water? Oh. Oh, we meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So, didn't you do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? I don't know. I think I kind of agree with them. They seem nice. It's our duty to protect Dreadnought. See, they seem like nice people. That means you're gonna need to give up on that gym challenge. You look like you need convincing, so how about a Pokemon battle? Yes. I'll send you packing. For the sake of Dreadnought, of course. Oh, you're cute. You're so pretty. Is it still hailing? It is. Damn it. Okay, uh, let's use U-turn because it's super effective, apparently. 
There you go. Um, I don't know what they're going to do next. Let's, let's try this and see how we go. I don't know what that is. Pangoro. Oh, it's a, a big panda. Um, let's try dark? I don't know. don't know what it's weak to. Not that. Angry puppy. I don't know what a taunt does. I have no idea what effect that has. Okay, that did decent damage. Ooh. Ooh, dear. There we go. <sighs> I want to go back to Spikemouth. I really do. Experience for winning the battle. I got some, I got some. Ugh, she's gonna ride the Dreadnought. Oi, I've got an idea. We can get on Dreadnought first and ride it away. Alright, get a move on, Dreadnought. See you later, Gym Challenger. Bye bye. Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? You having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your rodent bike on the water too? That's why I'm gonna add these special parts, something to travel along the water's surface, just for you. You obtained a rodent bike. I already had a rodent bike. This bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rodent not only do a turbo boost, but also run on the water. With a rodent bike water mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the by, when you're riding on land, we'll call it land mode. I guess that makes sense. So, now if I... Oh, uh... If I switch my bike now... Okay, it can just go on water. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so instead of learning to surf, my bike just gets the ability to float over water, I guess? I, I guess that works. It's a bit silly, though. That means I can go over here now. So let's just have a quick look around. Uh, there's basically nothing interesting here. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Here's something. TM64 Avalanche. The power of this attack move is doubled if the user has been hurt by the target in the same turn. That's pretty cool. Uh, and here we've got... That's a, a very strong looking Glalie. Uh, okay. Tailing, by the way. Oh gosh, level 55? Oh my goodness. Can I even catch it? It sounds like it's too high level. Let's give it a try. You can't throw a Pokeball, it won't let its guard down. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so because it's above level 50, I just can't catch it? It's just obnoxious. Use Protect, so I won't actually hit it. Because of Protect, yeah. Alright, well, I'll try to hit it again. What did the attack? Sheer cold. What did the attack? Well, I guess I defeated it. Do I get a reward or something? Because I beat a Pokemon that's too strong? 
Can we flamethrower? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, what is it? No, oh, that sounds really good, actually, yeah. Uh, let's replace Fire Fang. It's the same amount of PP, but it's much better. But looks of things. Okay, um, I mean, I leveled up. I didn't get, like, a prize for beating it or anything, apart from the experience. Hmm. I'm frustrated that you can't just throw a Pokeball at something that's high level unless you have all the badges. Like, that doesn't make any sense. It's just obnoxious. <sighs> okay, um, well, we're at half an hour, so I'm just gonna head back to town for a moment and heal up, and next time we'll probably make our way through the rest of Route 9. Uh, they just had some stuff to do before we could start on Route 9 in this video, so we didn't quite go too far. Um, but yeah, cool. We'll just chuck down a little save. Also a heal. <laughs> do I still have my other Rotom bike, or did it replace that one? I assume it replaced it, because, like, there's no reason to carry two bikes, but, you know, maybe not. When do I use it? Trying to saw what accidentally marked it as a favorite. Uh, y button, X button, the type. We're just cleaning up the new markers just for tidiness. Okay, so I do have all these different types of potions. So I just weren't sorted properly, I guess? Hmm. Oh well, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll probably make it to Spike Myth. I don't know how long Route 9 actually is. Uh, but that's it for now. Bye!